Hi everyone, it's Gloria and I wanted to share with you um, some cards that I was able to complete this weekend. Um, got a little bit of a spring fever with the nice weather this weekend and um, wanted to share some of these cards with you. So the first one um, I made is this birthday card and uh, as I've been doing with uh, my other card videos, um, besides my Friday fun ones uh, where I'm using the paper stacks, I'm trying to still go through some scraps. So that's my goal with the cards is to go through and, and use scraps and not cut up um, new sheets of 12 by 12 paper or any other full sheet of paper for that matter. So um, this one I decided to go with a little bit of pastels and I don't know what um, what brand this paper is but it's super cute and it's got glitter already on it on some areas so it's really cute um, so I adhered that and then um, I used these um, oh gosh these are called just the edge basil paper cardstock strips um, sorry for the glare on that but they're just different borders um, and I've had this forever um, forever and it's just different um, borders and trims on there and white that you can ink up or whatever so I just kept it white and um, and did my usual um, my scallop circle punch and then my two inch circle punch in the center of that and I stamped um, happy birthday with this um, stamp and it's actually I just noticed it for the first time the other day when I did this um, that it's from Inka Dinka Doo so I didn't think I owned anything from them, but <clears throat> apparently I do. So I stamped that in Sweet Leaf, um, CTMH ink, and then um, tied this bow, a ribbon all the way around and made a bow. And then I did some faux stitching with my white gel pen all the way around. And then I um, rounded these two cor bottom corners so that it flips up this way. And then I put two strips of that paper and rounded these bottom corners as well um, and left room for my message on there. Okay, so that's the first card. The second one um, is actually from my uh, Mojo Monday sketch from a couple of weeks ago because I'm a little bit behind and my goal is to try to do um, a card every week that has the sketch. So I'm kind of backed up a little bit and I apologize for that. Um, but here's this one and this one's from, like I said, um, second to the last week of February this sketch and so um, here's my card that I made for that and I just did one inch strips and you've seen this pattern um, paper before in my um, my last card video that I did the wedding ones I believe um, <clears throat> so I did that and then I stamped this um, cupcake um, with is, with this stamp from CTMH it's called Good Times and it's this cupcake right here. And um, I stamped that in cocoa, I believe. And then pansy purple, I stamped the happy birthday at the bottom. It matches perfectly. And then tied this really pretty ribbon on the side there. And then I, I don't know if you can see that, but I glitzed um, the entire top of the cupcake just to make it really shiny and sparkly. And then on the inside, I added just a one inch strip of the pattern paper. Kind of coincide so that one turned out pretty cute um the next one is for sketch for this sketch um which is from the last week of february and so here's my card for that one i decided to go with the squared so um i made this card um using an ivory card base and i just had all this paper that I wanted to layer and this is um, you probably the camera won't pick it up very good but this is um, iridescent the paper it's got kind of a pink if you, oh there you go you can kind of see it there and it's got some glitter um, on some areas on it um, so again I um, followed the sketch um, and then this this white here border is from that basil um, uh, the edge card uh, cardstock strips card stock strips wow um, and then um, I put this on pop dots this um, top part here and um, used some Baker's twine from CTMH in white um, to tie around that and make it look like the bow is kind of sitting on top of this little egg which is all um, oh what did I do with that one stickled that one in pink and then this uh, message I stamped in amethyst and that message comes from this Easter time 
um, stamp set and it's the message right here. And the egg comes from the Easter eggs stamp set and it's the um, polka dot one up here. Look how cute that stamp set is. This is the first time I've used it. <laughs> Sad to say I bought it a couple of Easter's ago. I think it was last year actually. Um, anyway, and I rounded the bottom corners here and on this top part and I just added some bling on there and didn't do anything to the inside on this one. Okay, and then the last one, uh, Mojo Monday sketch is the one from last week, last Monday the 5th. And so here's my interpretation of that. <clears throat> Again, this is all scraps. Um, I, um, it's just like a peachish color and then some tan and this is kind of a, a turquoise color. And these flowers, I have tons of, um, I bought the little glass jar full of them from uh, Recollections. They were on clearance at Michael's last time I went in to Michael's. Um, but anyway, I glissed them with the CTMH bronze and I dotted the scallops on that circle. And then I stamped this hello with my go-to um, CTMH Say It In Style stamp set. And it's just down here, it says hello. So I stamped that in chocolate as well and didn't do anything on the inside of that because I think I didn't have any more paper. <laughs> so, so nice to get rid of those scraps. Okay, so that's enough for the Mojo Monday. So I've got through those. I'm happy to be caught up. Um, and then I went into some Easter cards. I made this one. And um, I for this one I used the same, um, I think it's the Easter time, yeah, Easter time stamp set. Um, so I, it has like a little weaving like looks like a basket and then it has this and then the happy and that message and then these two eggs that I embossed in baby pink and sunny yellow are these ones here. A lot really cute stamp set. Um, I've had this one. This is probably one of my first stamp set that I bought from CTMH and I love it. Um, so I did that. This, the basket um, I stamped in desert sand as well as the happy. And then the Easter is stamped in blush, I believe. And then um, I put some green pearls just to kind of highlight the color of the ribbon. And it's supposed to look like the little basket then. And then um, I sell the eggs I um, embossed with baby pink and sunny yellow. And then I just rounded the top corner on this and didn't do anything on the inside. There's that one. And then last but not least, I did this Easter one. And again, the Happy Easter comes from my Say It In Style stamp set. Um, and then I love this paper. Um, I think I used it for a layout for my daughter. Um, absolutely love it because it's embossed, um, the flowers on there. And then I had this yellow iridescent paper. I don't know if you can see that, but it I don't know where I got it from, but it ended up in my stash <laughs> of scraps. So I did the same thing I've been doing, I did on the other cards um, in my last video my last card video where I, with my Fiskars um, hand cutter thing, I cut an oval and then a slightly smaller one. And then on the larger one, I use my ripple edge scissors. So it kind of looks like a scallop of sorts. And I inked up this white cardstock with baby pink and then added this um, foam embellishment from the dollar store from like years ago. Um, I don't know what I bought them for. I don't think I was planning to use them on scrapbooking, but maybe I was. I don't know. It's so long ago, I don't even remember. Um, and I added a little green pearl at the top of the bow. Um, and that's it. And then I stamped the Happy Easter in uh, blush ink. And I rounded both top corners. And didn't do anything with the, out uh, the inside. So... Those are my cards for um, today. I just wanted to share with you, and I will see you um, next time for sure. Take care. Have a good one. Bye-bye.